What's up everybody? Pete with Auto Repair Tips. In this video, I'm working on a 14 Hyundai Toucan. Customers complain they're hearing rear brake noise. So let's check it out. Remember, if you check your brakes and you have to jack your car up, always use caution, use jack stands. I think before somebody used the wrong size socket on it and ate all the corners up so it's not fitting on the socket very well make sure if you ever go to do that and you're pulling your lug nuts off just don't grab any socket make sure you grab one that actually fits so you don't mess up all the corners on your lug nuts I see that a lot believe it or not people just grab whatever socket they want something close just to take the wheels off the car definitely not a good thing to do looking at the back caliper bolts they look like about a 14 ah, didn't give me that time I almost started off in the wrong direction sometimes I'm dyslexic sit here and look at things and put it on tighten if I'm going to loosen and loosen them if I'm going to tighten. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. Yeah, I'm going to hang the caliper up so I don't get yelled at. A million comments. What are you doing? caliper's just hanging you're gonna ruin it all right let's take a look here rotor feels good nice and smooth no grooves I don't think we need to do anything to the rotor to be honest with you looking at the brake 230 seconds pull the back side out and take a look yeah they're just starting to hear brake noise if you look right here you can see it's starting to come apart that's the noise that they're hearing the front side look pretty decent right here it's got a little bit right here going on not too bad but the back one is the worst one so looking at the slides for the pads i'd rather go back with factory ones to be honest with you especially on the slides i've seen it many times in the past where the aftermarket ones they just don't fit the pads don't sit right they don't fit on the caliper bracket right they're just they just sometimes they're just junk so if I get one that looks as good as this, a lot of times I'll just clean these up and I'll reuse these here. Now, if they're all rusted and pitted up, no, you gotta shit can them. But in this case here, they look pretty good. We don't live in an area that gets a lot of snow and cold weather and salt anyways. So, you know, they usually last pretty good. I don't have those kind of issues around here. All right, let's get some brakes ordered and we'll get them on the car. All right, we just got the new brakes in. Uh, they're Brake Best Select Premium. Uh, I think they come from a rally. We used to buy a lot of parts in advance, but they switched up their process and getting parts in advance nowadays is like pulling teeth. It's, it's a pain in the ass. Uh, looking at the clips that came in with this, so we're gonna go with the new clips. A lot of times you'll get an aftermarket clip in and the metal will be bent. It'll be all kind of just distorted, but these look pretty good. So we're going with these. Before you install the brakes, one thing you need to look at is check your slides. This one moves in and out pretty good. This one is stuck. And that will definitely cause a brake to wear uneven because this side will slide, this side will stay. You'll get worn on the bottom side and it won't wear on the top side. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and pop them out and grease them up. When you pull them out, if you look at it, you can actually see there's a difference. These have like a rubber O-ring on it and it kind of gives a little more stability on the top. Make sure you go back with that on the top and that one on the bottom. Pay attention when you're doing it. With the pins removed, I usually take a little bit of brake clean. I'll stick it on the rag and I'll clean it off. And I'll do both of them the same way. But once you get the grease off, if you look at your pin, 
there's a little bit of distortion here i'll get a little bit of 220 grit paper and i'll just kind of clean it up a little bit like i said it's very very little so there's no need to comb out the insides of the caliber bracket they're going to be fine I'll just clean this off just a little bit there's not much on here good to go when you're going back with your grease I'm not real specific on what brand I use. I don't really have a real preference. Just put a little bit on it though. I find all of them to be about the same. When you put it in, make sure it goes in all the way and the boot snaps around the pin. Now I have seen some cars come from up north. They're, they're, the rust and the corrosion on the brakes are just atrocious. There's a whole different process for that. And these went on nice and snug. Like I said, they seem to be, I think they're going to be okay. The same thing, when you're putting these on, just use just a dab. Just do a dab of grease right on the end. Get the back one in. And there's two. Get your brake tool. Just press the piston in like this. And if it goes in nice and smoothly, pretty much effortless, effortlessly <laughs> if it goes in nice and smoothly and without a lot of effort it's good to go if you go to press one in and it doesn't want to go and it's hard and you can't hardly force it crack open the bleeder valve and check it if it's still hard to go in you're probably going to have to replace the caliper Go back with your caliper bolts. And they are German specs, good and tight. There are torque specs on these. 80% of the mechanics don't use it. Sometimes I do, depending on the car. But a car like this, I know that if I go hand tight without overkilling it, that's gonna be within specs. I've just done so many of them that I can probably get it within 10 inch pounds. Let's let all this noise go by. Backwards. That's how you put brakes in a 2014 Hyundai Tuscan. All right, guys, I appreciate All right, guys. All right, guys, I appreciate you watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. All right, that's some tips on how to install rear brakes on a 14 Tuscan, Toucan, whatever you want to call it. Either way, it's still a Hyundai. I appreciate you watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Catch you later.